We don't have much time to get this done. We're a family of four. We love each other. We're always on top of each other when we're on the couch anyways and snuggling and watching movies and it's gonna be so fun to do that at Christmas time, watching cozy Christmas movies in front of the fireplace. There's quite a bit to be done in here. Let me just show you a bit. So, we've got all this kind of stuff that's just been thrown together. Like this fireplace has become such an issue. You see when we moved in, it just reeked of cat pee. So I just threw some primer up on it. Um, and then we just kind of like <laughs> move forward. We got this janky foam here because there was cold air wafting in from outside. This is a picture that Crow made. We actually did a video about this. So fun, right? We want to get some shelves up back here to put all of our sort of family heirlooms and things that have been in all of our houses. It's a lot of just stuff, but it's not just stuff, right? Because it all has memories attached. It all has meaning. It's what makes home feel like home. Okay, maybe like family is what makes home or the memories you create, but this stuff is all those things. It is family, it's memories. So it's what makes it feel like us. So that's our objective today. So where are we starting? Do we need to like empty this room out? I would like of the cluttery stuff? I think that this is our space. This is what we've been living in. We're we're showing this is us. This is authentic. This is Matt Blue. This is our lifestyle. This is the chaos that we live in. This mm -hmm. is it. That's wonderful. I'm asking like, yeah. do we need to like take pictures out and plants out yeah. and frame it like Why? Leaves. So we can start moving things like what are well, what's the first step that needs to happen? Nothing here needs to happen because this is a whole thing. But we got so to are we not gonna paint that? Yeah, just not today, you're saying. Yeah, not today. I'm, like I'm gonna take care of that another day. Today okay. I think it should be figuring out where pictures go, situating the TV, swapping the TVs, um, figuring out like are we doing shelves, where the shelves shelves over here so the record record player over, we're gonna have to rethink this. Okay, so those pictures need to move, that TV needs to go, that lamp needs to come off. So basically everything over there. Yeah. What are we doing about that? Yeah, see this is the this is a perfect example of the kind of dilemmas we're facing. So that one little hole is actually not little, it's big. It's huge. That is a whole other project. We just have to decide, like, do we want to replace the HVAC system right now or just live with that? Well, we, I don't want to replace the HVAC system right now, but is there a solution that's better than a bunch of masking tape? Yeah, we put the TV in front of it. We're the only ones that are going to know and anyone watching this video. <laughs> So the solution is just cover it up and pretend like it doesn't exist. For isn't, now. isn't that what we do with our problems? <laughs> Okie dokie. So this is real life. Alright, so the idea is to take this tree, clean it up, so we can put it in the house. Yeah, I got kind of fried from being outside here. But we'll uh, clean her up and bring her back to life. Puppy. It's too dark in here. I think it's something to catch all these drops. This has outnets 
then we're putting something in front of the window to block the atmos. If it's over here, then you have tree, and then you can still put a lamp on that side. So try it. Yes, and the shelves. I'm picturing shelf, record player, shelf maybe? Matt had to leave, I have a few hours. So I'm running to the hardware store, I'm gonna pick up some red paint cause I'm going to paint the facade of our fireplace red and white stripe like a candy cane for Christmas. He's gonna hate it. He's gonna be so mad at me. Uh, but I wanna do something to the house for the holidays that isn't just hanging decorations. I wanna make it feel more festive and by festive I mean a giant candy cane fireplace so I'm sneaking off to the store to do that now because I there's just no way I'm going to uh, pull that off while he's home seriously for real oh my gosh it's so ripped Shocking thing to walk into. I didn't think he'd like it. Uh, I know he loves it. It's very Christmassy. It's Santa, apparently. <laughs> it's pretty Santa. What inspired that? There's close to 10 boxes that'll be taken out of this shipping container. I'll take that bet. There's gotta be at least three in vinyl alone. Oh, okay. What, what do you get if you're the loser? That's so fun, that picture. He took really good photos on this camera.
Flores corsages for our last minute wedding. See, this is not all just stuff. It all is meaningful. My grandfather's sheriff's badge. Deputy Sheriff, Maricopa County. Grandmother wrote this for me. Something of your grandfather's. So sweet. I kind of feel like I, that's something you would buy. I feel like we bought this at a, some sort of antique shop and we used it to hold our marijuana. I thought it was gonna still smell like marijuana. But it doesn't, we did a good job of cleaning it out. Not any longer. What else we got on these bookshelves? Lots of books. We got our Raise a Child Award. Nice Saturn Award. Wasn't this guy yours when you were a little kid? Uh, it was, but my mom made that. She made it? In high school. I could be making that up. <laughs> I know she made this. I know she made this in high school. That's so good. Rose's first time on the beach. It was our first trip together as a family. No, I guess it wasn't. We went to Disneyland. But it was our first time in our new place. That's soothing to move your feet like that. What is that about? Why do humans do that? Do all humans do it or is it just us? It's just a nerve.